Hello and welcome to ET Garage. I hope everybody's going to have a great 4th of July weekend, 2022. That's what's coming up. And uh, I'm just going to throw a quick film to that, uh, video to, together for today. Uh, so I have something to post on Saturday. I try and post videos every Saturday. Uh, most of it's about my C4 Corvette. Today it's going to be about poor man's tool chest. Uh, this tool chest here actually isn't a tool chest, but I got this for free. From a neighbor who passed away years ago. He's uh, good for, was a good friend of mine. He got a bunch of these from a friend who's, uh, well, basically the uh, nursing home closed down and they were throwing these out. And these are the, the chests that the nurses pull around, push around with all the medications and all that stuff in there or whatever they put in there. And uh, I'll give you a more close up look of it here shortly. But uh, I mean, it's certainly not a Snap On or Maco or Harbor Freight or anything like that. but for my purposes, it works great, and uh, it does have wheels. I'm not sure I would want to push it around with all the we uh, weight that's on it, on these wheels. That being said, my floor is in such bad shape, you couldn't push anything around with wheels on it uh, with e any ease. Let's put it that way. Like right here, it's in a big rut, in a big pothole. Uh, hopefully, uh, in the near future, I'm going to repair this floor, do DIY, so at least make it level. But uh, anyway, getting back to the tool chest, I'm going to relocate the camera and get a better view of the drawers and some other things. And I know the first thing you're going to say, my place is a mess. You know, when everything's disorganized and stuff. And it is. And uh, I don't know, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I'll probably get out here and try and make either a video about uh, replacing the hood cable on the vet, or I'll just get out here and clean up the garage. So I don't know. Let me move the camera and uh, see how this goes. Okay, hopefully you can see this. Uh, basically it has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine drawers here and one, two, three, four, five, uh, one, two, three, yeah, five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five drawers. I know, I can't count. But anyway... Uh, they also got some other features I'll show you here in a minute, but I'll show you these drawers first. And uh, what's really nice is it has these, uh, came with a bunch of these plastic dividers, so I can divide up like uh, metric and standard and flare nut wrenches and miscellaneous. Uh, my trop drawer, and I just mark them with a marker. One thing I wish I did, I painted, I wish I painted this red or black before I stuck all the decals on it, but it's done. And uh, in the future, I'm probably going to make up. Uh, some better uh, better information on here that's a little more clear to read. Not that I, not that I need it, because I know where everything is. Uh, and, of course, there's the sockets, 3 8 sockets. Uh, I got my torque bits in here. Uh, Allen, uh, all sorts of Allen bits and uh, sockets. And standard and metric and hip drivers and all that stuff. It's all in here. And that drawer. And then the next one, I got my screw, my half-inch drive. Uh, some impact stuff, Allen wrenches, screwdrivers. Uh, this, by the way, is just a small sample of tools I have. I have another tool chest over there, another tool chest in the basement. And here we go, more impact. This is where I keep my uh, impact driver, my air drill, my air ratchet, uh, some of my torque wrenches, the sockets, my chisels and punches. And... Uh, more torque wrenches and speed wrenches, hammers, and here's a uh, electrical. I got soldering iron. I got the uh, test lead solder, a uh, bunch of bulbs, fuses, all that stuff that I need for electrical. Go down here. I got test equipment. I got my timing light, my fuel pressure tester, uh, compression. I don't know if my compression tester is down here. Let's see. Fuel pressure tester and well I do have a compression tester but it's like my uh, the old kind that you use on your Briggs and Stratton. I do have a regular uh, compression tester but better compression tester but that's up on the shelf. And I also have another one of my electrical testers in here and a bunch of other testers. I think I have my fuel injector tester, uh, more electrical test equipment, ohm meter, voltmeter. A little handy dandy amp gauge. I love this thing. This thing comes in handy sometimes. And, uh, and I go down here. I got assorted tools, 
and o-rings and shrink uh, tubing and cotter pins and hose clamps you name it it's down here uh, sorted screws and on the bottom one I got my heat gun uh, pullers uh, pipe tubing bender and then over here pliers and scissors and vice grips and, and all that stuff here of course channel lock sticker and I got my channel locks some of my favorite pliers and a hose clamp plier and a bunch of other stuff here more assorted pliers and adjustable uh, wrenches down here I got the uh, air powered cutoff tool and a bunch of accessories for my uh, angle grinder I only have the one angle grinder and I actually got to relabel these I now keep my uh, polishers in the bottom drawer here and uh, all the accessories for that I keep up in a shelf over in that direction but uh, let me move this around again and I'll show you the side and something I just picked up yesterday for it that actually worked out really well so hold on a second Okay, on this side I have this adjustable part here. I don't want to adjust it with all the wrenches on it will fall, but this piece here has these two tabs you, and uh, squeeze them together and you can raise or lower it. And I picked up this magnetic strip from Harbor Freight. I forgot what it cost, uh, but it wasn't much money and I stuck a bunch of more wrenches that I have there on there. And of course I got all my decals. You gotta have decals on your toolbox. So uh, that comes in real handy. I wish I had actually more of these and uh, Let's go to the other side and I'll show you what's going on there. Okay, on this side I got this, uh, this is the handle for pushing the cart around. Right now I'm, I'm hanging my old fuel line uh, hoses. I have a video on these somewhere I might, if you want to search it. Or if you're curious, just ask. I'll try and provide a link down in the comment section. But here I use it to hang all my seed clamps and then there's this basket for putting uh, all sorts of stuff in. Uh, I have assorted stuff in here. Uh, sort of the dividers and this thing another divider my rags and it has this uh that thing that locks like i was talking about on the other side and i can move that up and down if i want it's kind of difficult to do here in the corner but uh i guess that wraps it up uh, so uh i'm gonna move the camera again okay it's like 90 degrees and humid and i'm gonna go inside and take a break call it a day and edit this and upload this video uh when we watched, I, uh, I appreciate you watching. I hope this is helpful. If you can pick one of these up cheap or like I did, get lucky like I did, uh, I guess you can search Facebook Marketplace, eBay, uh, wherever. Look for and look in the paper on the news if you hear about a uh, nursing home closing or something like that where you, they might be throwing these out. But, uh, you ever, it doesn't have to be one of these. Anything that will work for a tour, uh, tool chest is a tool chest basically it and anything else save you a buck if you're uh, uh someone who doesn't have, want to spend all sorts of money on something that's just going to sit there and hold tools and you're not a full-time professional mechanic you know someone that works with vi wire like i am at home in my garage uh this thing is excellent for that so yeah i do i know i gotta get out there and clean this garage up maybe tomorrow but in the meantime i want everybody to enjoy the holiday weekend, it's July 2022, and God bless.